So welcome back to another video legends and we have a massive scatter trick delivery unboxing to get through. So let me quickly take a seat and look at this wall of goodness from scale trick. We have got weeks here of content. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take an individual look quickly at each of the cars that they have sent me. And then the coming weeks, we're going to build some tracks. As you can see, we've got a new style layout. I think this will be for the F1 cars. And we're going to do a full review on each of these beautiful machines. So buckle up. We're going to take a look and something a little bit different, a bit of a different unboxing. When I show you the car, after we have a quick look at it, then I'm going to do a montage of each of those cars just to sort of break up the monotony of a delivery unboxing. But let's give it a Crack, Scalatric, epic, feel of your unboxing. Let's go. So first cab off the rank, let's go rally. Let's check out the Ford Puma Rally 1. So first car up, we have the Ford Puma Rally 1. Let's crack her open. Again, we only gave a quick look at the car. We will do a full test run very soon. Something special about this car, it is four wheel drive. So it is four wheels are spinning as you put the power down. And we'll start underneath with a nice little cutout here of the Puma. I love how Scalatric have been doing that. Little cutouts of logos or the car design or whatever it may be. And this one has a, pu a Puma, I was gonna say computer. And we've also got the digital plug ready window this is not a digital car but of course it will accept the digital plug beautiful looking thing the livery is very striking it's electric some may say as you can see by the electricity running through this red bull livery ford puma i love it i'm a huge rally fan and this being four wheel drive is a nice little difference but have a quick look at the color of the rear of that Puma, how it goes from like a magenta to a yellow to a green and bullseye, we've got the Ford badge in the center. Around to the other side, awesome looking car. Again, it is four wheel drive, I'm not gonna try and drag it along the ground. Another key point of this one, the massive rear spoiler of this sucker. But there you go, the Ford Puma Rally 1, it's montage time. So next up we have an F1 car, let's keep it front and center, the Brabham BT46, let's check it out. So let's take a close look at the Brabham BT46. I'm a massive F1 fan and Scalatric has done a stellar job. Again, this is only a speed run. We are gonna take a close look in the future and a full test run of this, but they're really knocking out the F1 cars from Scalatric. And again, the detail on the one that I've got in my hand, the quality is on point. Very happy with it. Around to the rear, we've got the rear of the gearbox, as you can see through there, and you've also got the rain light, I believe. Some exhaust pipes coming through. Massive fan of these rims. I hope they're coming up on camera nicely. Nice flat one at the rear, uh, at the front, and a deep dish at the rear. We've got the Alfa Romeo signage down the bottom. It is a crazy looking F1 car, so stay tuned for review to come. But guess what time it is? Montage time. So next up, we've looked at the rally car, we've gone F1. Let's go my favorite brand of all time, Porsche. The Porsche 911 Carrera RSR 3.0. Let's go. So here we have the Porsche 911 Carrera RSR 3.0 in the Wally Jeans livery. Lucky star on top, and we do have a lucky star sitting on top. Again, a quick speed run, a look at a beautiful Porsche. Now that's me being biased, I'm a huge Porsche fan, but I do love the stitching. It looks like a pair of jeans, or trying to look like a pair of jeans, but of course, we've got a Porsche 911. Around to the back, nice, beautiful, big tail. I love that rear spoiler on these. I don't think we make cars like we used to, and Scalatric again have knocked this one out of the park. Uh, the one in my hand, quality is good. It's looking beautiful. Underneath, we've got pretty plain, actually. I was expecting to see a Porsche logo, but we don't. Of course, DPR window, if you want to put a digital plug in there. Around to the front again, nice little air scoop. Stay tuned to the channel because we're going to do a full review on this one, but it's montage time. Mm. 
So we've done Ford, we've done the F1, the Brabham, we've done Porsche, I think it's time for Ferrari. So next up we have gone the Ferrari 330p4 in a real soft green. On camera it's probably going to come up maybe metallic, I'm not too sure, but it's a real soft um, low gloss green. Love it. Huge, here we go, Ferrari fan, but I do prefer Porsche. But I like this, and I like the detail, what they've done here around the cockpit, those three windows that are wrapped around the driver who is sitting in there. It's cool, it's a good looking car. I only just received this one prior to filming, so very exciting to put it in the mix. Loving these rims with the spinners in the center to undo your rims to take them off. Around to the back, normally, I think behind there, did I normally have a spare tire? Probably not, I'm probably making that up as we go. Let me know in the comments. Exhaust pops, do we have a Ferrari sign underneath? No, we don't. And there is no DPR plug for this one that I can see, so there you go. Something a little bit different. Loving these rear gills and from above, it's a work of art. Again, the quality that they've sent me in this one is spot on, no issues that I can see. So hats off to Scalatrick again. Guess what time it is? Yep, montage. We've done the Ford, we've done the Brabham, we've done the Ferrari, we've done the Porsche, it's movie time. The DeLorean Back to the Future from movie number three. Let's check it out. So it's movie car time, and what better movie to choose than the DeLorean? We love the DeLorean on the channel. I believe I've got the first version of this, I can't remember. So when I do review this, if I do have the movie number one or DeLorean number one, I will put it in the same review just to show the differences. But let's have a quick look at this one again, a speed look, and it has got detail for days the DMC on the front a little nudge bar I'm just trying to remember the movie what part uh, in the movie that I can remember this from on the bonnet we've got all the Doc's crazy work on it I love these rims the white wall with the red and the silver dish in the center really well done we've got Marty McFly in the driver's seat it is cool really cool around to the back we've got the flux capacitor it looks good. Well done to Scalatrick on getting some of the design cues on this one right. And again, it's got detail for days. And I can't wait to review this. I'm a, I'm a big movie fan, and this is definitely a movie car choice for me. So stay tuned for the full review. But you know what? You know what time it is. Let's recap, we've done the Ford, we've done the Brabham, we've done the Ferrari, we've done the Porsche, we've done the DeLorean. Next up, let's go F1 again, the Williams FW44. Let's check it out. So next up, we've gone back to F1, this time with a current looking car from Williams. Very exciting for me, I'm a huge F1 fan. Thank you very much to Scalatrick for doing current F1 cars. I really do appreciate it. And I guess Massimo, he would appreciate it too, MP Slot Car Space. But let's take a look at it now. This is a double banger for me. I'm a Williams fan, or I'm an F1 fan, and I'm an F1 fan. And here we have the F1, the, sorry, the Williams FW44. Love it. Look at all the design cues. We've got the Safina on the rear. We've got the rear light, which flashes in the rain. And when they're doing the recharge, the floor on this looks really cool. Let me flip it upside down. Anything special underneath? Just got the Williams. But I like how they've got some of the floor Cues, of course, the high downforce cars that they are for 2022, 23, and of course, 2024. Beautiful front spoiler, and it is a big slot car, as it should be, because in real life, these things are huge. But there's our quick speed check, of course, full review to come. But it's time. That's right, some close-ups. <laughs> 